We were in the pyramid. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. My four hour. Yeah. Most dreadful time yeah. of my life. Same. In those pyramids. Right there with Horrible. you. Horrible. Yes. And somebody. Was it you? Jenny yeah. said she deserves something better. I probably said she deserves it. Yeah. And yeah. I iconically said she deserves nothing. Uh-huh. uh-huh. What I meant is you earn it. You don't deserve it. Uh-huh. You're not born into this world deserving everything. Uh-huh. You, you earn it or people gift it to you. I agree with that. Okay. And then my kids started crying. And, <laughs> and you said, and I, I don't want no, else. no, 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 no crying children. <laughs> And she said, well, if you yell at me, I'm going to cry, which I also agree with. Okay. And so you said, get out. And so we left. And I said, pack yourself. We're going home. And I'm like, we're done. We're going home. Oh, she's like, no, I'm not. I'm not leaving. <laughs> she loved the show. She wouldn't leave. Even you made her cry and she wouldn't leave. And so I was like, all right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I'm like, you're going to have to go in and apologize. And she's like, why? I'm like, because you're going to be the bigger person. She's like, okay. <laughs> and she just came and she did. Yeah. Did I yell at her again? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but now, but look at her. Oh, yeah. I mean, she mm-hmm. she can deal with a few yells. Everybody in their lifetime gets yelled at. Right. Everybody. Thank you. Everybody survives. My dad mm-hmm. told me every day I was dumb enough to be a twin. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother always thought he said that because her dad was a twin uh-huh. and it was just like a dig at her. Uh-huh. But I thought he meant I was dumb enough for two people. Oh. Like I was so dumb. Oh. I send you down to the garage to get a hammer and you come up with a handful of nails oh. and just things like yeah. that that don't make any sense. Yeah. You know, and you, yeah. dad, there's something wrong with the car. It sounds funny. Well, what did you do it to it? Uh-huh. You did something. To... Yeah, dad, I laid down underneath <laughs> it and banged on something. I tried to, to ruin it. it. I tried to break it. Yeah. No. Yeah. So that's the life I grew up. So she could get yelled at. I, I think um like our generation, parents were tougher on us for sure. Then and even our parents, you know, like had it way tougher. Like I just think now well, I'm it's a lot like, older than you are. Are you? Yeah. I'm 49. How old are you? I'm 58. Yeah. Oh yeah. A, a little decade. bit. Yeah, a little bit. So mm-hmm. we had it tougher. You did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I, my mm-hmm. dad, mom and dad grew up during the depression mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, uphill yeah. in the snow, both yeah. ways to school, all that. Not food every night. Yeah. Like, that's tough. Yeah. That's what my grandpa always used to tell us. He would say, make sure that you eat enough. Because I remember when I was a kid there, I couldn't eat enough. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My dad had mm-hmm. a fight for the last pork chop. You know, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, with his six with his siblings. With siblings. Yeah. 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 And I yeah. had whatever I wanted. I mean, my mom would tell me, like, she got mittens for Christmas. You know? And it's like, kids today get way more than mittens. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some kids get houses. I mean, <laughs> cars, houses, yeah. investments, stocks. Yeah. I know. Crazy. Rapid fire favorite and least favorite dances that JoJo ever did. Okay. Least favorite dance JoJo ever did. Are we talking solos or like groups? Talking whatever you want. Solos, yes. groups. Okay. Fire. Um, I would say favorite solo JoJo ever did was the monster one. Um, monster, favorite yeah. monster. Okay. Favorite monster. I'll show you the dark side, right? I'll show you the dark side. And then least favorite one. Oh, actually, really, I liked Carrie, too. And I liked the straight jacket one. Uh, least favorite one was probably that motorcycle one. That was kind of, like, weird. I don't remember what it was. I feel like one of the producers just wanted to do a motorcycle number, and they're like, throw JoJo in it. Um, Did she ride out on a motorcycle? I feel like it had, like... No. It had, like, a red and black... Uh, it was, like, red and black, right? Yeah, yeah like, like a biker. Like a biker vest. Or, like, side fun or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's probably my least favorite. Um, I know, like, probably, like, for groups, I liked Spice Girls. You probably didn't like Spice Girls, but I liked Spice Girls. <laughs> I also like Moulin Rouge. You probably don't like Moulin Rouge. Um, I like the fence one. Do you remember when we did yes. the one on the fence? Yes. I liked that one. That was in the horrible it LA studio. In, um, always a bridesmaid. Oh, I do. I did like always a bridesmaid, never a bride. That was really cute. And we had the shower for Kira that week. That was a really fun week. Was I invited? Yeah, we had it on set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a super oh, fun week. Okay. I think it's like super surreal to see your kid be like on the Times 100's most influential people list. And, you know, we had like sweatshirts made and we had everything like printed out at our house. And we have it hanging, but it's just like... Wow. You know, like everybody loves their kid. Everybody thinks their kid is the best and everyone's kid is the best in their eyes. But then to have 
your kid be able to impact so many other kids and make them feel like it's okay to come out. And my mom's still going to love me if I come out. I think at the end of the day, all kids want is their parents to love them, you know, and they want their parents to say that it's okay. And and to be accepted by the world. And to be accepted. By, by the public. Yeah, for who they are. Community. Mm-hmm. Yes. Whether it be. Yeah. No matter what. You are. Yeah. Yes. No matter yeah. what. And I think for her to say, you know, I'm not straight. I'm gay. I might be pansexual. I don't know. I'm figuring it out and love me for who I am, you know? And I think the world does. And I don't think it's just the coming out and just being gay, whatever, whatever she wants to be. I think it has to do with the music. I think it has to be with that adorable little girl that was on Dance Moms, Mm -hmm. an iconic TV show. I think it has to do with her boomerang and her YouTube videos. That's my big regret with JoJo. My biggest regret with her is not sitting next to her on the bus, learning how to upload and edit my own YouTube. Because I had my finger in the light socket with the behind the scenes stuff that I could have had at the show. All those classes... I mean, could you imagine us doing Zoom classes back in the day when those kids were in class in Pittsburgh in the studio? Like, I could have been generating so much more, what do they call it now, passive income, and not even realizing it. And I could have done, I'm pretty savvy. I mm-hmm. can figure things out. I'm artistic. I know colors. I know this. I know that. I could have done YouTube videos for sure back in the day mm-hmm. and had all that behind. Mm-hmm. I could have had my phone on the whole mm-hmm. time we were filming. But to learn how to edit that. In that studio. When she was on Dance Moms, she started editing videos and loved it. And she would say, today I edited a video about dolphins on YouTube. She would just go on YouTube and edit other people's videos because she wanted to practice editing. And so I was like, well, let's make this a class in your school. So then you can take an hour every single day and practice editing. You know, like, it's genius. Why not? And then even for her thumbnail for her current music video, Karma, she made the thumbnail. She's like putting my YouTube skills to work. Well, mm-hmm. she can make my thumbnails. <laughs> made there the you thumbnail. Go. She literally sent so, me that whole thumbnail thing is so important. She sent me 12 thumbnails today and she goes, which one's your favorite? She made 12 thumbnails. When I was on my staycation, uh-huh. they, we had all these counselors that the network hired and my attorneys made me hire and it was all BS. And they, I don't mean Satan, I mean real BS. And, although he is kind of real BS. <laughs> so I said, they said, you have to go to school or you have to work. You can't work for yourself. There was all these rules. They were all wrong. Mm-hmm. Everything was wrong because I didn't know anybody money. Yeah, so it was yeah. all wrong. And I said, I'm going to go to Santa Monica College for mm-hmm. graphic design. Smart. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. Yeah. Well, I didn't have to, so I never did uh-huh. it. But yeah. then during COVID, I thought, why aren't I going to school for this? I can learn how to it. do it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. You know, so that's my big regret with JoJo. Mm-hmm. Nothing really to do with her dancing, but no. I needed to sit you next could have to picked her on the <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Instead, yeah. Jonah and I were working on the next week <laughs> on class or Monday or whatever. Yes. Uh, rank the dance moms on the pyramid. Put them on the pyramid. As dance moms or as like my people? Isn't that one and the same? Oh, no, because I'm like really good friends with Kira, but she's an awful dance mom. <laughs> like. Come on. I mean, the characters <laughs> on the show. All right. All right. Characters on the show. All right. I'll put Jill on the top. And Jill, then I'll put my Ke- Kendall's so pretty. Kendall, you're so Come beautiful. Come on. She's hilarious. Kendall, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Oh, my God. Come on. You got to put her on the top. So okay. we'll put Jill on the top. And then we're going to put Holly, Holly, Kira, Kira, Holly. They could go back and forth. Like Second, the first to lose. <laughs> <laughs> they can go back and forth. We heard it here. I'll put Melissa on the bottom. Last on the bottom. Last on the bottom. For stealing from me or for? Just for like just. All her. Always trying to one up me. Like, you know, okay. like I always, I like I lived with that for a long time, you know? Yes. And yeah, I'm like, you know. Uh, and then uh, Ashley, Ashley, we, we, we put Ashley on there. Uh-huh. I should probably put Ashley before Melissa. Well, they're all on the bottom. Um, okay. Okay. And then I don't really know Kelly and Christy, you know? Well, you see their characters on the show. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably put like them just together on the side. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. Like so. a broken part of the pyramid that fell off. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. When we came, JoJo had 200,000 Instagram followers, nothing. You know, your kids had millions. We would get a brand deal. We'd get $200. Maddie and Kenzie would get 10,000. You know, like it was just like we were nothing. And it it goes to show you work hard. Perseverance. Don't give up. Believe in what you're doing. Like not don't Why don't be... you just look right to camera and say these things you're saying? Like work hard. Don't give up believe in what you're doing don't be cocky don't think you're the best be the hardest working person in the room like there are some good good qualities that you have to have if you want to make it far and jojo came in as the underdog no one wanted her here no one cared that she was here we saw a chance jojo saw a chance we made it work i mean i sold my dance studio like to do this i got my first paycheck and i was like whoa whoa i thought we were gonna make money on the show (laughs) (laughs) and then you know it changed and like if you really really believe in it like you and you're willing to be the hardest working person in the room and you're willing to do more than everybody else around you go for it i know you have all seen it Every viewer watching has probably watched it a million times, but right now we're going to take a look at JoJo's new video, Karma. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I'm glad we're friends now. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad. And yeah. I want to stay on the invite list. Uh, you're always on the invite list. Uh, yeah. You heard it here. Yeah. You heard it here. She left it on the dance floor. <laughs> All right. See you next time on Leave It on the Dance Floor.